We move into the weekend, and we have a matchup, a rematch between the TCU Horned Frogs and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. These two teams met in the opening day of play. This ball driven to right center field off the bat of Johnny Reiser. That'll split the defenders and roll to the wall. Watson has touched second. He's on his way to third. He's being waved home. The brakes are being put on by Reiser at second, but Watson is able to score, and TCU leads it one to nothing. Humphreys at 259 on the season, and this ball driven on a line toward left. McCusker can't reach it at six feet seven. He couldn't bring it down. Riser has scored. Henry's been waved in. He'll score without a throw, and TCU has jumped out to a three nothing lead. Starts his runner. There they go, three and two. And Humphreys delivers this into right field. That's a base hit. That's going to bring in a run. The throw goes to third. The tag is applied, and the runner is out. But the run does score. That's the second out of the inning. And it's an RBI single for Zach Humphreys. And what we are about. Fly ball left field. McCusker going back. The wind's behind it. And that ball is gone. Another home run for Josh Watson. And two more on the board for TCU. This is a team that has had to go to the junior college ranks as Simpson hits this high. It is deep. It's to center field, and it is gone. Three hits in the tournament, three home runs for Colin Simpson. And Oklahoma State's on the board. Uh, that just goes to show you one of the ways that they can score a lot of runs, you know, is that home run ability right there by guys in the middle of their lineup. Boone at 293. Ground ball, left side, that's into left field, that's a base hit. The one run's going to score, the throw comes to third, there's nobody there. The tag, though, is applied behind Simpson, and they got him. 250 on the season, 20 runs driven in, and he does have five home runs. He might have number six right here. That ball is deep, and it is gone. A grand slam home run off the bat of Cade Cavanis, and we're tied at six. Yeah, that uneasy feeling that we were just talking about. Your guy down there stepped back on a line drive on that one right there, which they did. They'll just walk in from third on that base hit by Watson, and TCU has reclaimed the lead. Yeah, what a great response by TCU. You got a battle now if you're Henry. You got two strikes on you. Drives this right center field. Boone going over. He's not going to catch up to it. It's going to roll to the wall. It should score two. One run is being waved in. So is the other. It's a double for Henry. Wolf scores. The bigger part of Watson and Riser score. And TCU has taken a three-run lead in the top of the eighth. For Shepard, you're going to try to get a ball to the right side of the field right here. Get him over. Just like that. And it gets past Morrill into right field. Henry's being waved in. Here comes the throw. It is not in time. And TCU leads it by four. An RBI single for Connor Shepard. The 0-1. Pops out of the glove of the catcher. Coming in is Humphreys, and he's going to score without a throw. That's a big run right there. Big run. That wasn't George, was it? No. Okay. That ball is hit high and deep. Left center field, and Humphreys has taken it to the warning track. One run is in. Here comes Henry. Humphrey stops at second, and TCU is blowing it open in the top of the ninth inning. They now lead it 13 to 6. Maintain the lead. There's a fly ball center field, and this should do it. Riser makes the catch, and that does it.